Ben talked about your illness that you had and you're just now kind of getting back to normal. How tough has that been over the last uh, couple months or so leading up from Italy to now? It was tough. I lost about 15 pounds in Italy. I finally gained it back uh, last week. I've just been in just shooting. I've been able to do, do a lot with the team. It's been pretty complicated, pretty rough on me. But besides that, it's been pretty good. I've been resting my body. My body feels good. So that's the biggest part to it. Q, Ben talked about your leadership role. Your natural lead by example leader, but he wants to be a little more vocal. How do you go about doing that? Uh, I just try to say more in practice. Uh, I'm not a really, I don't really talk as much, but I've been trying to talk as much as I can in practice. I don't like to tell people like what to do, but <laughs> like he wants me to try to, to like let them know what's going on. But I'm trying, but I'm really not that person. But I'm gonna try for him and the team so so we can be better. When did you realize that you were gonna have to be more vocal? Uh, in Italy, I realized that uh, because the young guy didn't know as much as me and I did then when I J went down. So. The young guy had to play more, so I knew I had to be a more vocal person. I did, you know, as the lone upperclassman on this team, how do you have to kind of handle the leadership role, you know, managing pretty much the whole team? I'm the, I'm the talking person. I do all the talking. <laughs> so, me just being there, I want to be lead by example. You know, you not too many times where you're the lone senior, you got this special group, and they got so much talent that I want to be able to not only give them knowledge, but actually help them and lead the, lead the path for them so they can like, not hit that freshman hump as soon as most freshmen do so they can get over that hump and so we can win games. Q, after having the, the freshman season like you did, how, how do you attack this year knowing that you know maybe expectations have kind of risen for you? Uh, I just take the season the same way as I did last year. I'm just going to go out and play hard. I ain't gonna do nothing special. I'm just gonna play my game and try to have a good season again. Do you feel more confident? I was yeah. just saying that about you, but do you feel that way? Yeah, I feel more confident. I, I felt confident going into like the last five, six games and going into the season. Then we had the trip in Italy, <coughs> so that made my confidence more higher. So I'm just ready for the season. Ajay, when we compare this year's practice to last year's practice session, how much more patient, I guess it goes for both of you, how much more patient though? Some things may take a little longer to pick up for those young guys. A lot more patient. You know, last year we had seniors that pretty much been in the SEC and understood what they had to do. There's all these freshmen that come in and it's just they don't they don't they wasn't grasping the concept of college basketball when they first came in. And we were very patient with them. You know, we're still patient. They they came a long way. We still have a long way to go, but I think patience is the key when you're talking to them. And, they gonna still got a lot to learn, even as games go by throughout the year. So patience, you have to have a lot of <laughs> courage. Q, is that something that your freshman year, the way you got better and better, better, is that something you can, a message you can give those freshmen, hey look, this is what I did last year, y'all gonna make the same kind of improvements? And, and uh, I just feel like um, you just got to listen to the coaches and trust the process, that's what I did. So. I try to install it, and within the freshman we got now, just tell them to listen to what everything Coach Holland tell you to do, and everything will work out how you want it to. Q, Ben had mentioned, you know, there's still some things that you need to work on. What are some of the things that you've been working on this all season? I've been working on my jump shot a lot, uh, handles, dribbling. Like I've been trying to make a lot of. I've been working on a lot of off the dribble shots, just to try to get another part of my game to another level. So that's what most of what I've been working on right now. It seemed like Lamar impressed whenever you went down. He just kind of stepped in there and really kind of impressed. What makes him such a special player? What what he kind of brings to this offense um, in his first year? Uh, he brings a lot, you know. He can score. He's so quick. He can get to the paint and create for others. And he has tenacity. That's what I think that's what helps him be able to compete at this level. His tenacity and his demeanor about himself is, is what brings him and let him be able to make the plays that he make. He's so confident that a lot of freshmen probably wouldn't even try to make some of the plays and the moves that he make. And just shot making, defense, his defense is great. And just his ability to be able to make plays for others is what, what puts us over the top. And when I went out, he actually displayed that in Italy. And I think that's, it's, it's hard to just say one thing that he can do. He can do a lot of things on the floor that would, that'll make us a lot better.
throughout the whole year.